think we did it. Yeah, I think we did it. Hi, everyone. Welcome to this fucking piece of shit we got going on. <laughs> we are NTR. No Taste Radio. Setting the and, expectations high, I see. Nah. Welcome to this waste of your time. Thank you for joining us today. So, who are we? Actually, who, who are we? What do we do? So, we started this podcast, thought, hey, we're just two funny youngins. We Heavy can quotation enter- quotation marks on both funny and young. Yeah. Uh, we thought we could entertain the kids. So, I am Devil Burb, human trash incarnate. It's a pleasure to be here. And we are joined by... I'm Mars. Um, slightly better than Devil Burb in most ways. It's a good thing I'm editing this because I can cancel out all of those chunks. <laughs> that awesome. I don't doubt anyway. that you would at least think about doing that. So... We're here as just two friends. We wanted to talk about random things. Mm-hmm. We'll probably talk about anime, maybe movies sometimes, maybe some of the nonsense going on wherever the fuck. We're going to say swear words a lot, and I will not be held down. We're going to say some swear words. Shit. <laughs> Anyways. Um, yeah, actually, so this is just something we want to do for fun. And hopefully we've wasted your time. Wait, no. Oh, no. Hopefully we haven't wasted your time with our introductions. Uh, so how very soon today of you at first. So I want to do an introduction of who we both are, what we're about, and what we do. Uh, Mars, you're welcome to go first. Oh, great. You want me to go first because you're thinking of things to say? Nah. <laughs> All right. Hello. I am Mars. I am a amateur voice actor. I quote unquote quote unquote yeah. <clears throat> um, much like Saitama, I do this shit for fun. Um, oh, I I'm love a, Saitama. Yeah, well, we have a lot in common. He's just adult Caillou. I don't like that you said that, and I don't think I agree with it either. Nah. <laughs> Could you explain Caillou. to me how you think Saitama is just adult Caillou, please? Look at him. Look at him? Yeah, one day Caillou stopped wanting to be a drunkard piece of shit. He was semi-homeless in his little shitty apartment, right? Uh Uh-huh. No food, no AC or heat, and one day he was assaulted by a a crab man. Okay. And he he became the hero we all know and love, Punch Wunch Man. Punch Wunch Man. All right, well, thank you for the background. Yeah. You know so much, Double. It's really remarkable, honestly. Nah, it's just a talent of mine. Oh, it's a talent. <laughs> gotcha. This is okay. a shitty podcast. Oh, my God. It's kind of bad so far, but it's okay. Yeah, um, that's my favorite part. We're going to we gotta build our podcasting muscles, right? Like, we have to... Um, you I'm know, a we gamer. Have to I don't have this. muscles. You have gaming muscles. Um, my ass. <laughs> I don't like that you said that. <laughs> Um, all right, so back one, to you. One podcasting muscle that we should attempt to achieve is the stay on topic podcasting muscle. Uh, so back to the original point. <laughs> My name is Mars, amateur voice actress, just do it for fun. Um, I'm currently a programmer as my day to day, my nine to five. Um, I like anime, unfortunately. Really big fan of Kenma from Haikyuu, despite That's having mistake. not seen Haikyuu. Um, what else? I like roguelites, roguelite games. My favorite game is Finding of Isaac. And uh, I'm trash. Yeah. I think I you barely anything. told. Yeah, you barely told them about the Ada Ada energy. Oh, I do have massive Ada Ada energy. That's what's gonna sell this podcast is the fact there's a woman on it. Oh, really? Yeah, I might as well just put titties in the thumbnail while I'm at it. Well. Honestly, I bet that would work. I'd get like a whole five people who would watch this nonsense. Well, it's five more people than we're expecting. Hell yeah. All (laughs) right. I guess I'll go next. Hi, everybody. I'm Devil Burb, human trash incarnate. I am an... Oh. I am an audio engineer. I am almost a content creator. Mm -hmm. A want-to-be... 
amateur level voice actor, but I haven't done anything yet, so I don't, I don't know, just throw that on the list too, I guess. As That's well as video true. and photo editor. You do, um, you've done stuff for us. Yeah. For the channel. Unfortunately, most of the stuff that I make, you'll only find on a certain black and orange website. Oh, dear. Yeah, that's fine. Don't worry about that. Um, I work as main audio engineer for Anagomi, mm -hmm. as well as my own channel, Agonal Productions. Don't look either of those up. That's actually a waste of your time. <laughs> you can look up Anagomi if you want to. Nah. Um, I mean, I would suggest Anagomi as a nice place for people who like anime. If you ever and think about cringe. it, podcasts are just ASMR with a topic. Yeah, I mean, I think they they definitely serve a similar purpose. Nah, one's for entertaining, one's to cringe at. Listen, many people are entertained by podcasts. They're not all cringe. Damn, most of them are. Oh my god, most of them are. Holy shit. Oh, actually, yeah, you know I like what? This one. There's not that many podcasts I can say I personally like. All the ones I like are about nerd things for audio engineering and then mm -hmm. like Castle Super Beast. That's fair. Um, I, I still to... miss Red Letter Media. I'll forever miss you. I never got into that. I think I heard about it though. Nah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Fair oh enough. my God. Uh, so. <sighs> I wanted to get into the discussion first off before we get into our main topic today. Mm -hmm. And to just talk about our weeks. What have we done with our lives? And, like, what's just going on in general? Right. Mars, what have you done with your worthless life this week that's actually worth talking about? Um, well, as you know, I have COVID right Hell now. yeah. I do have COVID. Why would you um, have something that's not real? You know what? That's a great question. I do think <laughs> that Jeffrey Bezos forgot to put extra 5G in my micro trip. Shit. Um... So it it didn't prevent the the COVID from coming, which is really annoying because I got the vaccine and I was super sick after I got the vaccine. Like for not enough days. nano machines, honestly. I know. Yeah, and my cell service still sucks, so I don't get what the point of injecting five G is. I wish I could inject five G, honestly. If Can't I had the it. ability to mod my body with extra shit, and all I had to do was inject or implant it, I absolutely would. I'm pretty sure there's a whole sub-community of people that think like that. If I could just, like, install RAM chips into my brain to mm -hmm. make me think better, it would my life would be amazing. You know what? I lived in, um, I lived in California in 2019. Um, I'm sorry. Southern, <laughs> Southern, yeah, me too. Anyway, in Southern California, it was about, I don't know, an hour or so outside of LA. Or four hours, depending on the traffic. Anyway, um, there was a convention that was going on when i was moving out and it was for people that were interested in like cybernetically enhancing their bodies oh. so i want to be part of that yeah it's like people that implants you know sub like what's the word for like under your skin subdermal i think i don't know what the word is i'm too dumb to know these terms i think it's subdermal <laughs> Uh, they like implant things in their body, like lights and clocks and stuff like that. And... Oh, I want like a cool wrist clock, like in that stupid movie. Uh, <laughs> what's that movie where they like they have the time imprinted on their skin, and mm. time is actually money? I don't know. I don't watch a lot of movies. You don't know which one I'm talking about. It sounds familiar. Where, like, all the rich people just are immortal and the poor people are just living day by day with, like, a death timer for the next day. Damn, that kind of just sounds like regular life sometimes. Yeah, I wish, man. <laughs> it just hit stop right now. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no. I'm sorry, I cut you off from your boring week. Go on, continue. My boring week? Well, I'm not allowed to leave the house because I have COVID. Um... So, yeah, I was really sick for, like, two days, maybe, three days. And then, yeah. uh, now it's just inconvenient. I still have a fever, but, yeah, moving on. Even though my lungs feel kind of funky, I have been doing, like, vocal lessons recently with a voiceover coach. Oh. So, yeah. Let's hear something about that. 
That actually <laughs> sounds interesting, unlike the rest of what you're telling me right now. What the heck? You don't think it's interesting that I have, like, a world-ending plague? Nah. Okay, well, despite having a lung infection, nah. yeah, I've been doing uh, voiceover lessons, mostly just, uh, right now we're just, like, looking at scripts and trying to develop characters, you know, like, picking, uh, you know, certain qualities from a character and then trying to, like, really focus on them when you record. So, okay. I'm hoping that'll, like... How do you do that, honestly? How do I do which part? How do you just find the character? How do you find the character within yourself to just output through your voice? <laughs> is it just a projection of who you are, but a little more acted? Or is it just like, I am portraying this thing and I am verbalizing it? Um, I mean, I think a lot of actors would say that, like, you want to become the character in certain circumstances. Um. So I, I like think to a degree, like maybe it's a a certain like method of like role playing maybe or like, you know, kind of like That's make cringe. believing. <laughs> um, yeah, but like when you get a script and you just get like a short description, that's like one or two sentences. It's just, hey, this person's really outgoing and friendly or, hey, this person's like stern and like matter okay. of fact. You so what you've to... just described is more mm -hmm. than anything I've ever seen on Casting Call. <laughs> okay, well, your first problem is that you're on Casting Call. That That is my first problem, yeah. <laughs> I haven't used Casting Call in a few months, but... We're about to have to put up a Casting Call if we can't find people for these upcoming audios. Aw, oh, man. Oh, okay, go on with your week, because I want to bitch about Casting Call for a few minutes. I mean, we can definitely bitch about casting call for a few minutes. Um, I don't Hell yeah. feel like I did anything else this week. I've been working from home um, because I have COVID. So I've got like an entire other tower and monitor and keyboard set up on my desk right now. It's like a little crowded. Um, oh, mm -hmm. you poor baby. Oh, poor baby. I keep getting told that I should, since I edit a lot, mm -hmm. um especially with using Pro Tools on Windows, which you cannot use dual monitor for. Okay. <laughs> which I should invest in getting an ultra-wide monitor, actually, um, to yeah. accommodate that. But I also do stuff in, like, Premiere Pro and DaVinci and uh, Affinity Photo, mm -hmm. right? I don't know how those work in an ultra-wide monitor. I don't know if that's okay to use because every time i see a monitor set up for video editing it's for like probably a triple monitor setup at least instead I mean, of an ultra wide one do you have right now i have two so just get a third uh right. i can't can't yeah my graphics card only has one hdmi output oh that sucks but i do have two 27 inch displays so that's not too bad mm. are your monitors plugged directly in your graphics card uh, one of them is a monitor, because it's an all-in-one, unfortunately. Uh -huh. And the other one is plugged directly in. Um, I don't feel like my monitors are plugged into my graphics card. <clears throat> uh, my, I have an all-in-one computer. This oh. was like the first actual PC I ever bought, and this was mm -hmm. at a time where I didn't know anything about computers. Right. Um, that was like, I saw, it was, it was on sale. It was like a $1,400 computer originally. Mm -hmm. And it was on sale from Dell for like 600 off. Okay. And I had just enough money at the time and it said it was specifically good for editing stuff. Mm -hmm. Like that's what it's meant for. And, um, that's the reason I bought it. It's a mistake now because I can't upgrade anything. Apparently the motherboard on this Ooh. thing is so old or whatever that mm -hmm. i cannot upgrade my ryzen cpu past first gen <laughs> what year did you get it oh god like 2017 i think 20 yeah that's i think 2017 that's not too bad. it's not terrible i can play games from... and stuff on it just not yeah. on like high settings oh mm -hmm. it's sad everybody makes fun of me who makes fun of you Oh, my friends, when you're friends with people who are like with mostly 3D modelers who all have amazing displays and multiple of them when you can't have more than two, they all make fun of me for it. Oh, poor devil. Bird. Sucks. <laughs> oh. oh, my God. So is that it for your week then? I think so. 
Would you All like right. to take the time to talk shit about casting call now? Oh, what about my week? Fuck you. I mean, you can talk about your week too. I'm just wondering what the priorities are here. My priorities are whatever I feel like. That's why I asked. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, you know, I want to talk shit about Casting Call a minute. Fuck that mm-hmm. website, by the way. If you're somebody out there who wants to seriously do this kind of thing, like voice acting or editing, mm-hmm. um, for one, I'm going to say if you're an editor, stay away from Casting Call. Every now and then, I would say you would... Pr- I keep saying I would say a lot. Even when it's not, like, right. It's okay. Huh. Vocal crutches exist. Wow. We acknowledge Anyways. and we move on. Yeah, for editors, it's not great unless you want to edit somebody's freaking Minecraft, Roblox, <laughs> or what's the third one that's on there? Something Danganronpa. Gotcha. Any gotchas, you're right. Or any like any subpar thing that has the word Danganronpa in it. You uh, did a Danganronpa thing for us once. I know I did. That's a mistake. <laughs> Danganronpa is uh, really good. It gets a bad rap. Two is good. Two was very good. Two, two was is good, and one. I'll say that. Three was kind of Because it has best dog, boy. Like, bad. Oh, who's best boy? <laughs> I oh, love me up. some Hamster Man. Hamster Man? No. Uh, Are you talking about Teru I, I forget names. Who's the one who has the Dark Devaza Destruction? Gundam Tanaka. Gundam Tanaka is the shit. Gundam Tanaka's my favorite. He's best boy. He I is love best him. boy. Gundam Tanaka. Gundam Tanaka. I love how he speaks. I want him to sing me to sleep. 100%. Oh, I love his voice actor. Yeah, Chris it's is so like good. really funny on Twitter too. And TikTok. You know, if you ever visit the main page of Casting Call, they mm-hmm. have all these companies that like say they were hired, like people <laughs> yeah, from Casting Call, like, Hunter, like, like, like Pepsi, Near Automata, and, yeah. yeah, stuff like that. I have never seen anything above somebody's, like, no. shitty YouTube channel. Yeah, and no. I don't want to, like, rip on people, right? Because I get, like, not everybody's super knowledgeable about mm-hmm. making big productions or even what, like, uh, what I would call quality. Mm-hmm. And that's also not to say that it's, you know, it's, I'm going to say a lot of it's bad, right? But not in the sense that it's cringe or super terrible. People, That's where people are trying to get their start. Right. And I can understand that that's a, a gathering place for a lot of these, like, newer people who maybe don't know how to connect with others or how to reach out and say, hey, this is what my talents are. This is what I can do. I want to try out for your big thing, right? Mm-hmm. Or if you're just, I think it's mainly used now for, it's just for, like, content creators now, if I'm not mistaken, right? Because there was a point in which I did see a lot more actual abridging things on there and other, actually business things that were offering quite a bit of money but it's been a while since i've seen that on uh on the casting call site specifically yeah uh I, yeah i've I mean, seen maybe roles it goes through seasons um i've seen some projects on there that are like you know legit looking visual novels or yeah i've seen those i've yeah. um done i don't know where they're at because but there is that's <laughs> where i started honestly eh, no not technically not i started with another a big youtube channel as my first big break, uh-huh. which I'm not going to name here because then that's a whole can of worms. We'll do that on another episode. Ooh, for um, sure. uh, where I got my big break also was that honestly casting call. Mm-hmm. Uh, I didn't know how to connect with people. All I knew was the Abridgers Lounge and casting call because that's right. like, OK, if you're an editor or you can do anything like that, that's where you go if you want to find work. Mm hmm. When I say work, it's not like work, I mean, you're going to get paid. It's work, you're going to get paid maybe $10 at the very most. <laughs> I would, I, would you say it's just a website maybe you would find just for experience just to gather that up? Like, to gather that? Yeah. I mean, I think it's a good website if you're starting out and you need, like, you know, you want to know the basics. I, it's like, it's a good place to find people to learn with. Uh, yeah i would say so that's actually the reason i reached out to anagomi on there hey. at the time that was like what a year ago almost mm-hmm. it's coming up to a year because i yeah. joined you guys in november yeah it, it might have been yeah was it november or october it was the either the end of october or november you know what i can totally look it up too i'll have to look it up <laughs> well i was already doing stuff at the time making commissions off of audio work mm-hmm. and i wasn't getting enough consistently in Mm-hmm. So I wanted to find something to keep my skills up. 
Mm-hmm. And that's when I reached out to Anna Gomi and I was like, just asking to do simple things. Cause that's what you guys weren't asking for really anything at the time. No, just like dialogue cleaning, I think. And like lining up sound effects. Uh, yeah. Like the things you guys were asking for was incredibly simple work. Uh-huh. And I thought, oh, this is the perfect place to just get in and experiment and do something consistently mm-hmm. to keep my skills up. And here you are. Yo. A year later. Uh, but and there's. Now we're best friends. So there's something that bothers me a lot with, I, I hate to say this, and it's the ignorance of new people. And some, and a lot of this isn't their fault because there's so <laughs> I know much. What? You're say. what? No, nah, you don't. No. Nah. I know exactly what you're about to say. So. There's things about, like, when you're new, you don't know what to look for, right? Right. Say, if you're going to start, like, video or photo editing, and you Mm -hmm. see an effect on a video, you Mm -hmm. don't know what that's called. Like, you you might not know that it's called a pan, or you might not know what keyframes are, that kind Mm -hmm. of thing. And it's the place of, well, where do I start, right? Right. And I can understand that, like, perfectly. I know what it's like to be new with things. Mm -hmm. I know not having guidance and the only thing is like okay i'm gonna type into my youtube how to move thing cross you know like how to move an object across screen on premiere pro right right Mm -hmm. i don't know what any of those things called and it's like oh yeah i gotta adjust like x and y axis uh keyframing you know the positions and the numbers went on and that's fair right Mm -hmm. but then there's being new and wanting to get into something right away, but not having the, like, foresight or mental thought process of research. <laughs> you were going to say that. <laughs> yeah, that, no, that bothers the shit out of me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, mm-hmm. One thing is, I go on casting call, and I look up audio engineering jobs. Mm-hmm. People don't understand there is a difference between certain types of audio engineering, right? Mm-hmm. There are music people right. who mix make or mix and record music, and then there are post-production people, right? right. Mm-hmm. That only do like things for videos or whatever. Like now those two people stuff. don't say they can't do both because I can do both, right? Right. Uh, so you're like editing God. I am. <laughs> but you go on there and you'll see uh, audio engineer needed someone to make the sound effects make and mix the music mix the video and all these other things that don't really that aren't necessarily part of the same uh, like type of editing and just assume like they're an all-in-one like it's an all-in-one thing right right or my like one thing if i can cannot stand Mm-hmm. is you are you already know that i have a weird disposition against anybody who calls himself a va yes i have a te- i i it infuriates the hell out of me it really does i know this for a fact the term va mm-hmm. for all these new people who just call themselves va mm-hmm. where you how many people mars have like submitted to things where they're recording on their cell phone with the TV blaring in the background and it's staticed in and out to hell and it's just plosived out mm-hmm. and clip hard clipping. I mean, I think usually it's kids <clears throat> like or, or Not just always. people that are just like blindly ambitious. I mean, yes. there have definitely been points in my life where I just like want to go for something like even in voice acting. Um, you know, my first Twitter and current Twitter is still at Mars Your VA. Um, cause I knew that, you know, I was just starting out in voice acting, but that's what I wanted to do. So smack that at the end of my name. And I was still on a blue Yeti. <laughs> I was still, uh, I had never auditioned for something seriously and I just wanted to give it a go. So, I mean, I understand there's a difference between just saying like, oh, I'm like an aspiring voice actor and like. Hello, I am voice actor. <laughs> yes, there is an absolute difference. Right. It's like somebody picking up the guitar for their first day and mm-hmm. then getting on stage and be like, yeah, I'm ready to play all these songs. <laughs> no, it's just, it's this thing that annoys me a lot that mm-hmm. people will try getting into something or try to be something mm-hmm. without putting in the time or the effort. 
Yeah. I I see so many things of like people request from me uh, for cops going by. God damn it! Thank you, cops. Get them. Um, people request okay. from me is they like don't understand what it takes for me to do things. Right. Um, I do a lot of dialogue cleanup. Right. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Somebody will send me their dialogue and be like, I want you to make it sound like this. Mm -hmm. I have had people send me audio that was very obviously recorded like in their kitchen. Because I could hear the refrigerator running in the background. Right. In like a blue snowball. And I've had people tell me, well, I've seen videos on YouTube of how to make a microphone sound like a Neumann TLM-103. Yeah, how do you do that? Yeah. <laughs> it's it's people don't really understand like the absolute basics of what you need to do anything anymore. Mm-hmm. And they just want to jump into it. And then you do get those people every now and then that are just like, okay, they're going to study constantly and they're practice every day. Mm-hmm. Much like you, you're like, okay, I want to get into this seriously. I'm going to talk to somebody who's in the know, in the business, and they're going to give it to me straight. Right. You need somebody to tell you you are shit. Okay, well, she doesn't tell me I'm shit. I, Sometimes I'll, like, do a line, though, and she'll be like, hmm, interesting. <laughs> I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> that's, like, that's a personal teaching thing of mine uh-huh. is when you're teaching yourself things, mm-hmm. you don't usually have anyone there to tell you you did a bad job. Right. All you know is how to reference what you know against something else that you might consider better. Right. But not uh, like like sometimes I find myself looking at old recordings that I've done for. I'm sorry. (laughs) Like old auditions on my profile or something like that, especially if it's a character that I've auditioned for before. Um, So looking at an old audition that I redid an audition for recently. And you're like, holy cow, look at that difference, you know? Like that, I think that's a valid metric of, like, measuring yourself. Um, but, yeah, if you don't have a mentor or at least, like, some friends that can be real with you about progress, then it's definitely a lot harder to learn. Yeah. But I want to go back to the casting call thing. I'm like, because, man, there's some shit on there. <laughs> oh, my God. My main beef with casting call. All right. And I've, I've literally Is it Minecraft? added them. It's not Minecraft. Because I think I think there's a time and place for most things. Like, obviously, those projects are f- by kids, and they're usually looking you know, for other I kids. Don't, I don't have too much of an issue with the idea of, like, okay, if you are a content creator, I'm fine mm-hmm. with that. Make whatever you want, right? Right. It's the people who submit to those that bother me. <laughs> it's kids. Uh, they can I do whatever it. they yes. want. Um, but, no, the main thing about Casting Call that bothers me, and I've literally added... The owner of Casting Call, Mr. Buford himself on Twitter about this. And I've also emailed them. <laughs> I feel passionate about this issue, okay? When I yeah. add someone on Casting Call, it does nothing. Like, when you are friends with someone on Casting Call, it doesn't tell you when they audition for something. It doesn't tell you when they put a project up. It only tells you when they were cast as something, right? And there's no, like, statuses. There's no, like, way to post something. There's no... There's no reason to friend someone on casting call unless you want to mark them as someone that you want notifications for if they get cast. Yeah, I get that. I'm like, Buford, hire me. I'll fix your website. (laughs) I'll add these functionalities. It'll be great. Man. No, it's just... Oh. (laughs) I... Uh... I th- you know what other issue that I think exists, and it, I actually feel it might be due to casting call in general and probably abridging as a whole. What? Is nobody, I don't want to say nobody, it doesn't allow you to strive to be an original voice or a person. Mm-hmm. All of those projects are asking you to, not all, not, not all, right? Not all. Mm-hmm. I'm going to yeah. say most, not all though. They are wanting to do something that already exists. Like they want to do their Dang and Rampa dubs. Right. Or they want to do their My Hero or Bridge or some crap like that, right? Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, it's going to probably be a weird little cut there. 
Uh, we had an issue with the Discord call where Mars kind of shit out. I'm sorry. Nah. This is the quality I expected from something we would make here on NTR. No Taste Radio. <laughs> I want to say the full name every time just because I want to say the word NTR is so bad. Listen. What? I'll allow it, but that doesn't mean I'm happy about it. I love it so much. You have no idea how much I love it. I know you do. Nah. Well, that's probably a good place to maybe get off that topic a little bit. Yeah, we're getting a little little preachy. We're getting a little heated over casting call. It's a good place. Nah, fuck that website. (laughs) Okay, well. Uh Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Protoss, no. Protoss, you betrayed me. Mars. Did it break? No. There we go, I did it. Uh Are you still recording? Yeah, it's still recording. Don't stop anything, by the way. Oh, great. We're good. Hey. We're still good. Industry standard. Industry standard, baby. Woo! Yeah. Nothing better than Avid and Creative Cloud. Am I right? I'm going to pretend like I get this joke. Man, what? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, you're a Sony Vegas scrub. At least I'm not you. Listen, (laughs) everybody makes mistakes. Uh, Everybody has those days. All right, so I can go on, I guess, talking to my week a little bit. I'm Mm -hmm. sorry about cutting off of Casting Call for a while, because, man, I can rant about that for a long time. Yeah, you can. (laughs) All right, so going on with the rest of my week, what did I do? What do I, Devil Burb, Human Trash Incarnate, do with their week? Mm-hmm. Wait, I said there. Huh. Um, so I watched a lot of anime, as I usually do. Uh, I've been watching an anime called Girlfriend, Girlfriend. Have you seen that? No, what is it? Have you seen what that show's about? I'd love to hear about it. All right, so this show starts in a way that's very different than a lot of other animes in which the main protagonist is already dating the girl. Oh, okay. Um, she's really cute, little red-haired, uh, red-haired girl. Little she bit. just wants to be a good girlfriend, right? Mm-hmm. Um, somebody else on his lunch break, I, I, I'm trying to remember because I've been watching this over a while, mm-hmm. uh, a couple weeks. Someone else comes up to him and confesses their love to him. Mm-hmm. And he's like, oh, my God, you're incredibly cute and turning you down. I would feel bad, but I'm already in a rela- uh, relationship. So he gets the idea of, why don't I just date them both? Polly King. Openly. Okay. Yeah, what a Chad, right? I mean, do they know about it? Yep. Yeah. It ends up with them living together. O- okay. The one girl, she's adorable and bubbly. She's the big old pie girl, okay. you know, she can cook and clean, you know, uh-huh. she's the wifey type. Okay. And the other one is kind of, I would say a little Sundere-ish. Okay. Um, she plays, you know, she plays video games, that kind of girl. Like the smack you kind. So you? Nah. Uh, he just wants to date both of these girls because he finds them both cute. And they start living in a house together. And it's nuts. Because the one girl is seemingly perfect, like, housewife type. Mm-hmm. And the other girl is the main original girlfriend. Is like, how do I win him over when she's so perfect? I can only think of one thing I want to do, or can do, to win him over. And that's like, I just gotta sleep with him somehow, right? Okay. And he's like, I can't do that. It'd be cheating. Or it would be unfair. I either have to do it with both of you or, like, none of you. What is this rated, by the way? Is this a, a regular I don't know. anime? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it is. It's just like a regular ass anime. It's called Girlfriend, Girlfriend. Okay. Is this like on Crunchyroll or? I don't know. And I'm not going to say where I watch my anime. Okay. Okay. Well, I think I pay that's for fair. my anime. I'm like a person of culture. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Anyways, so that's been interesting. Mm hmm. Um, so he's dating these two girls, and life's kind of going all right. They're keeping it a secret from everyone at school. Mm-hmm. One day they're eating lunch. They want to eat lunch together, the three of them, like a lunch date at school. Okay. They're hiding out in, 
I don't know what these are because we don't have these, at least from to my knowledge, in like American schools. Do you know in Japanese? An- I'm going to say Japanese anime. What the fuck? It's just anime. Okay. Let's go again. Yeah. It's, it's anime. Yeah. What is it? Uh, how they always have a building separated from the school that they keep all of their like gym equipment in. Oh, like a shed or something. Yeah. Yeah. You always mm-hmm. notice how they have that in a bunch of anime? Yeah. I mean. Do any schools have that? Is that a thing? Um, maybe like older schools. I went to a school in France that had one. I'm sorry you had to go through that. <laughs> and they're in there, and another girl comes in and catches them, and she's big titty blonde girl. Oh, good. And it uh, turns out she's a, some stupid YouTuber, and she gets mixed in, Disgusting and then she wants YouTubers. to join the... yeah. Then she wants to join the relationship eventually. Oh, shit. So this guy now has was on about three girlfriends. I want three girlfriends. I, uh, nah, I don't. It's too much trouble. <sighs> anyway, so the whole show is just, he's literally building his weird harem up. It's really stupid. I'm, I'm too tired to remember the details. This. You should watch it. It's really cute. Is it actually cute? Is it going to be stressful? No, it's just cute. Okay, I don't want to watch anything that's stressful right now. It's not like watching Rent a Girlfriend. <sighs> Rent a Girlfriend made me want to punch my monitor every time that guy was on screen. The only thing I know about Rent a Girlfriend is that I did a dub of some of the um I did a dub of some of it at one point just from among friends. I'm sorry. I don't even remember really what it's about. It's but... about you know the Japanese girlfriend rentals in Japan. Mm-hmm. Uh, guy gets dumped by his girlfriend. He gets sad, rents one of the Japanese girls to mm-hmm. be his girlfriend for a day, mm-hmm. and then a bunch of wackiness after that com- oh, uh, wackiness comes. Wackiness ensues. Yeah, wackiness ensues. Great. Turns out he lives next door to her. Okay. Uh, there's the thing about he introduces her to his grandma, okay. and he says, "This is my girlfriend." See, and his grandma is super excited. And is all on for the relationship Mm -hmm. and just wants them to get married. And and I guess it's something about the hospital, the old people home. The girl's mom is there, too. And that mom, her grandma's there, too. Okay. And they, like, team up and say, our our grandkids are going to get married or some dumb bullshit. Okay. Remember, I haven't seen this show since it came out. And I also didn't care about it. So I didn't really pay attention. I understand. So... It is nothing but a show about a guy making all of the wrong decisions. His old ex-girlfriend who openly berates him in public by talking about embarrassing stories at like parties with their friends. Now he's like terrible at being romantic or kissing or he cries or some shit. Mm -hmm. He keeps trying to go back and simp like he simps to her because she keeps teasing him about it. Listen, sometimes you just gotta simp for somebody that is familiar. Then there's the actual girl who's like, I actually like you. I mm-hmm. actually want to sleep with you. Just be with me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's a whole show about a guy making nothing but terrible relationship decisions. Oh, great. Yes. Yeah, so I said like... I haven't seen it for a bit because I also didn't care. And every time the guy did anything, I just wanted to punch my monitor. It's so infuriating. Okay. Yeah, that checks out. <sighs> um, I've been watching another show that i've actually hold on let me get on my anime website oh, to geez. remember the names of thing because i'm freaking tired as shit mm-hmm. uh i've been watching a couple episodes of the duke of death and his maid okay that's a really cute show i'm Man, it's I in been keeping up with anime at all it's in 3d okay ew wait it's in it's in 3d and it's not i don't want to say it's incredible 3d okay it's very, it's very stiff looking when people move. Their faces are done really well. Mm-hmm. And so are the character designs. Character designs are actually really cute. I'm a big fan of that. Okay. About a guy who is just lives alone in a mansion and he is cursed to where any living thing he touches will die. Oh. Anything. It could be an animal. It can be a plant, a tree, you know, trees, stuff like that. That's kind of sad. Yeah, everything he touches will die. Uh, he lives with this maid. And she's this big titty, blonde hair, blue eyed maid. Mm-hmm. And she does nothing but 
tease him all day long. Okay. It's really cute. She'll go and she'll like start lifting her skirt up to make him be all flustered. Get his get her face like right up close to his doing like I'm going to kiss you kind of thing. And it's just her tr- getting as close as possible to this person who will just basically one shot her. Okay. And it's really cute. It's the whole relationship thing is super and cute. Sad. Uh it's all right. It's 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 adorable. I really like it so far. The 3D is kind of weird. It's I'm I don't want to say it's what like it called? The Duke of Death and His Maid. The Duke of Death and His Maid. It's really cute. The 3D aspect is curious. It's not amazing 3. Now, I don't think it's like gross. Oh, this isn't like this isn't what I thought you meant. No. Maybe I have because I just see the stills on Google Images right now, but the animation is just black, not oh, great. Really? I like the... the character design. Yeah, they're really cute. I gotta see it. Uh, he now. plays piano. I love it. There's a part where he just wants to play piano and have her sit there and listen, That's or they do like a little ballroom dance. It's... Is it? Yeah. Yeah. What? They're trying to give me an ad. I pay for this. I <laughs> get fucked. Bro, I'm so mad right now. Okay, I'm just gonna skip to a random place so I can see this 3D. Right, oh do that. god, no. It's not great. It's like VTubers. I don't know. There's some VTubers out there who are actually okay. I like VTubers, but I'm just saying this looks like VTubers. I only like one VTuber. Is it me? And I will only ever like one VTuber. Is it Lux? No. Is it Danny? Nah. Is it a uh, friend of the channel, uh, Hotoru Yora? It's Pick a Me. Okay. I'm a huge fan of Pick a Me. I love bombs. I'll forever miss you, Minoe. <laughs> if you're out there and you're listening to this, please let me know where you're at. <laughs> Chill. I miss you, Magnet. Mm, okay. She had the coolest voice. Aww. Anyways, uh, I've been watching that. I'm not on the latest episode of this, but an anime I've been really enjoying is called To Your Eternity. Mm-hmm. Um, have you seen anything about that? No, I haven't watched anime in a while because I have crippling depression. Well, that's the best time to watch anime. I can't what are you going to do with your myself. time? I literally, I just sit in my bed and think about how depressed I am. It's not a fun. Hell time. yeah. Anyways. Uh, I've been watching that. I'm not on the episode. I think it's episode called? twenty. That's out right now. To your eternity. To your eternity. So, it's one day a. Oh, that's cute. I don't know if it's like a. Oh, I don't know what this? he is yet. If he's like a god or something, he's just a hooded uh, figure. He creates an orb and tosses it down onto the planet. Yeah. And the orb is just this like inanimate object. And it's about its discovery on what life is. Mm-hmm. It clonks onto a rock and it turns into a rock. Okay. One day, the this boy and his I like this wolf dog thingy comes by, dies on top of the rock, and the rock turns into the dog. Okay. It is about think of it as what if one day a random object gained sentience. And it's not sentience in the way of it already knows how to function. It's sentience in the way of it experienced life for the first time this moment. That's the concept cool. of like walking and just moving, eating, that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. That's what drew me to, uh, towards it because that was fascinating to me. Yeah. I don't want to get too much into the plot of that because that'll spoil a lot. But it's just. Like I said, the idea of something learning to become a living entity was fascinating to me. And it's a story of just journeying through the world and the people it meets, learning to be human. Kind of sounds interesting the same way that, like, Dr. Stone was. I don't like Dr. Stone. You don't like Dr. Stone? I do not. Coward. Wow. Man, I'm going to have to cut that out, but yeah. I keep my ass keeps falling off my chair. Whose fault is that? 
No. Double verb on here. First episode of NTR. And you are talking about You didn't about say the your, whole name. I'm sorry. NTR. No Taste Radio. Yeah. Talking about your dump truck. Oh. So, all right. Aside from anime, mm-hmm. um, only other thing I did this week is I got some equipment for my little home studio. Mm-hmm. That was a big exciting part. My grandma got me something. She wanted to help me out, and I bought a set of studio monitors. Love that. Um, got a pair of Cali LP8s. These things are great. They sound really good. They kind of have a little warmer sound to them than I thought they would. Mm-hmm. I've been a headphone user for like two years now because I couldn't afford monitors. Mm-hmm. And the swap to having this like this stereo field around me is so different and it's incredible. By the way, don't get the Callies. They have a horrible white noise issue. This is a known problem. Get something else. <laughs> they sound fantastic, but they have an audible noise that I can hear almost down to like, I'm going to say sub 50 dB almost. Yikes. It's not super bad if you're, listen- if you're mixing music, but mixing, I can hear it when I'm mixing dialogue, and that's a problem. Yeah, no. Anyways. Anyways. Anyway. Um, why are there so many vehicles going by my house? Just to We have this you. asshole that comes by at 3 a.m. Mm-hmm. every night blaring his shitty rap music. Listen, he's probably coming home from work. Mm. Or he's going to work. Just let him enjoy his life, you know? All right. Uh, um, the other thing I've been trying to do with my week is, obviously, I study every single day audio engineering stuff just to get better at it. Nerd. Wow. Um, I've also been trying to practice my voice acting a little bit. Mm-hmm. I don't have any proper guidance on that. All I know is I'm trying not to do what I've heard everyone else that I know do. <laughs> Could you elaborate, please? Um, I'm trying to make sure that, for one, my recording setup is actually proper, free Mm -hmm. of things like plosives and whatnot. Right. Spacing my microphone, having my setup so it doesn't sound like absolute dog shit like Mm -hmm. I often get. Mm -hmm. The other is I'm trying to stray away from being a character or an already established character Mm -hmm. and work my voice to what I feel its strengths are. Right. Uh, one thing that I feel like I can do is kind of sinister villain voice. Okay. I can do a good, like, raspy kind of villain voice sounding thing. You can do a good uh, muscle man. No, don't you dare. <laughs> I also feel that my, I, I call it a serious voice, something I would maybe, I don't know if I read a novel or something. I feel narration. that kind of, that narration voice. Yeah, narration mm-hmm. voice. I think I, Sound very good with that when I purposefully deepen my voice and st- I try to articulate more and sound more open. Mm-hmm. I think I do pretty well with that. And I've actually considered into trying to go into the like audiobook business. Yeah. If I ever got okay. a better setup, like I would like to have something like a Caddy 100 or even like a lower end Neumann, like a TLM 102. Okay. Just something better than what I've got. The thing is, like, with your current setup, you totally could at least start. Nah, it needs to be better. <laughs> Danny does uh, stuff, and she only has... Uh... Is Danny on a... Um... She has an NT1A. Yeah. So, NT1A, I, like, I could... I'm gonna... <clears throat> I love to bitch about that microphone. Okay. I hate how the low end sounds on it. <laughs> Fair enough. I don't, I don't like the low end of the NT1s. I mm-hmm. don't. I think it's like the regular NT1. It has a pretty flat response. Okay. That's just, I like that. It's all right, but I don't like the low end response of the NT1A. And don't even get me started on the AT2020s because that's going to be a whole day. <laughs> we'll do another, uh, we'll do another entire segment on your feelings on the AT2020. 
and we're not even going to talk about blue blue stuff i don't i don't want to associate myself with anything blue <laughs> i saw that they're selling used blue yetis at gamestop the other day yeah, can you buy me one <laughs> used blue yeti all right, so I know people hate this video, but I love sending it to people. Mm. Of you know the video of somebody pouring slime on the blue yeti. Yes. Sl weird slime ASMR. Yes. I love sending that to people because it's so gross. Mm. It makes me happy. Oh, well, that's your fault. Burn them. Burn them all. Oh my God. Um, but yeah, I've been trying my best to get into it more. I realize my weaknesses when it comes to me speaking. I trip up on my tongue a lot, and I don't get words out fully. Mm -hmm. I also have issues with um, maintaining volume and proper like speech patterns. Mm -hmm. So if I want to do a specific voice, I can lose it very easily and have my normal voice pop out. And yeah. for that kind of thing, it's not great. It just takes practice. It sounds very inconsistent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do it a lot. But the issue is I have multiple people who live in my house. Yeah. And things like speaking in the middle of the night, like loud or anything like I would need for actual recording mm -hmm. is, you know, it bothers people. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's good that you recognize your your weaknesses, though. I know, like, in my case, I tend to talk too fast when I'm recording. Yes, you do. I know. Uh, so I need to remember to like slow down and then I have like a couple of voices that I like kind of default to like comfort voices if I'm trying to do anything outside of those then it kind of like ends up tending to one of those voices okay what's your warm-up routine my warm-up routine I do have vocal yeah. exercises I have like a sheet of them I have a sheet of vocal exercises yeah okay Mm -hmm. I've told you what my uh, warm-up routine is. Do you remember? Is it the... P -p 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 no. What was it? I recite the first page of A Clockwork Orange. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You did tell me that. You yeah, because that's psycho. my... That's serial nah. killer behavior. A Clockwork Orange is my favorite book. I can't tell if that's a red flag or not. No, nah, that's fine. Is it? I haven't read it, so... This is not like one of those assholes who actually likes Catcher in the Rye. Shut up. I could be one of those people. And that's a that's an actual problem. Oh my god. I used to love Catcher in the Rye. I know. Chill. The best part of that book is that kid getting beat up by a pimp. Chill. Uh, bro, <laughs> he's just depressed and I'm just yeah, depressed. He just, he just wants like someone to chill with. Yeah. Highly relatable content. Yeah, you know what? J.D. Salinger was on to something. Uh, no. All right, I'm done talking about catching the Rye. <laughs> I think I we've complained catch... enough for today. No. no. I want this podcast to be me openly talking about everything that I like, and that's like me. I enjoy complaining. So it's just going to be you complaining the whole time? Oh, if only. What's something you like, Double Burb? Money. <sighs> I know. <laughs> I like money. You like your space I'm... dog? I do love my space dog. I got a little puppo here. Mars bought me for my birthday. <laughs> He's got a little space outfit. He's got a little planet on his thing and some buttons. He's so cute. He's a funky little guy. I keep my... I have two plushies I keep on my studio desk mm -hmm. at all times because there's just an empty space there. And I thought, oh, those look cute there. Mm -hmm. And I have my saber figure. Right Double in front room. of me. What? Are you aware that both of the plushies that you keep on your desk are Mars related? How, how is the Plague Doctor? I also what? have a Plague Doctor on my desk all the time. I want to order the huge one. I have the the medium one. Like, I, I know you're talking about the one that's like 250. I have the one that's like 40. That's the one I have. The 40 one? Is that the one I have? It's... I think you have the one that's a little smaller than that. Because mine's is like it... pretty large. Okay, because there's a tiny, tiny one mm -hmm. that like fits in your palm. Yeah, no. I ha mine is just like uh, big enough to fit on my desk without obscuring my vision of my monitor. Yeah, no, mine is pretty large. Okay, I want the massive one. I want it just to sit in the corner and like look at me. <laughs> I really did almost buy that because I I bought um something from this store, the store that sells the plague doctors. Actually, last week I bought the plague nurse. Okay. Um. 
Did like, you see that they made like a Cthulhu and like yeah. a, a Satan thing? I didn't see the Satan, but I saw the it's like a little horn dogs and the. It's so oh, cute. Are you it's, oh no, about it's a Baphomet. Ba- Baphomet, yeah, that's exactly. Yeah, what it's what I was Baphomet. Say. I want the Baphomet one so bad. It was pretty cute. He's I don't Satan. have the money to buy it. Isn't he like? Um, I'm pretty sure he means is like the pagan. Is he pagan? Or... I'm pretty sure he represents like balance, right? Or like I duality. Know. Let me see. Show you duality. Uh, Man, what a terrible Slipknot album. Yeah, the Knights Templar. No song, I'm sorry. Allegedly worshipped. Yeah, Equilibrium listen, of Opposites. Listen, we don't fact check on this podcast, I'm all right? I'm right now. No, we don't fact check. The moment we start doing, the moment we lose our integrity. I think he's not like, he's not like a bad dude, right? Or is he? I don't know. I don't know. I just know he's got a snake penis and berserk. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> Man, I love berserk. All right. So yeah. I guess that's enough of the shitty things that's about my week. Yeah. We're like almost an hour into this podcast and we didn't even get on to the main point. That's fine. The main point will be for another one. Nah, we're going to do it. I I don't believe we should. <laughs> I think we should. Let's do it. I don't think we should. I think that we should uh, respect approximately an hour for the opening one, and we could uh, always... Nah. All right, topic one. Oh, my God. Um, we have it written here. So I wanted to discuss for our first topic before oh we get gosh. on to the main topic. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm steering the boat. I can't believe we're actually going to do this. All right, so what do we have for... Future plans for the channel, quote unquote channel. Okay, we can talk about this topic, but we're going to save the okay. other topic for another No, time. I want to talk about that one. No, no, no. Oh. <laughs> Next time. All right. So, all right. Yeah, you can do that. It's fine. I guess we're being cut off by Mommy Mars. We can set our intentions. All right. So, for this topic, all right. Just want to talk about some of our future plans for what we want to do here. Uh, I just want this to be a chill podcast, just something for us to be ourselves. We're not going to get too serious about things unless, you know, we kind of feel like it or we get into a discussion about something. Mm -hmm. Um, Other thing is I'd like to just go on, like I said, I'm going to talk about some animus when we get the chance or when we watch them. Maybe some movies we've watched, some video game stuff. I'd like to... Just discuss really any topics that I we kind of choose. There's mm-hmm. not going to be any hard thing about this channel. Just expect a lot of weeb shit. Just the worst. Absolutely. You're probably going to talk about Genshin at some point, and then we're just going to stop the podcast. I haven't played Genshin in a while, though. I, Thank I God. haven't played since Venti's second banner, and I rolled for Venti and hit Pity and got Deluc, and By then the way, rage quit. Alloy looks terrible. I don't know. I haven't really been paying attention. You I think should look it up. She's a ginger, though. I like that. I hate how Alloy looks in this game. I She's so out of place. She she is pretty out of place, I'll say that. I don't like what her character design looks like. It looks like an American-drawn chibi. Mm. It bothers me. It doesn't fit. She They, like, stubbed her down yeah. while everyone else in the game is an actual, like, proportion anime character. Yeah. I don't know. I don't like what they did with her. I'm pretty neutral, I would say. Yeah, no, just we want to talk about maybe some of our anime stuff, some video games, what we're doing with our weeks, what we're into. We're going to find some topics every now and then. Mm -hmm. I would like to maybe once in a while we can bring somebody on the channel just to have a discussion with. Yeah. Before we move on, I'd like to maybe just to say what we do like with our personal content um what we were gonna plan to do i guess with the things we're doing right now okay i i'm just like i said i run agonal productions we're a piece of shit manga dubbing channel it's a very low effort but i shit post a lot oh, really the whole point those. of the channel was for me, to, for me to make an abridge but i didn't do that because kind of lazy and tired mm-hmm Mars, you got the Anigomi's thing going on. I do. I run Anigomi, which is a anime character audio based YouTube channel. Currently sitting at 
we just hit 25,000 subscribers yesterday, I think. That's unfortunate. I think it's like going, it's going well. Um, and yeah, so I run that and then about to start working on a new side personal project with my good friend Devil Burb. Yeah. Um, we'll be doing more similar asthmers. content, more asthmers. Yeah. Um, All right. Yeah. All right. I'd also like to talk about kind of what we're going to be doing next time on the podcast is I want to discuss the rise of a content creator. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go over with both between probably me and Mars and just discuss what it's like to go from nothing to trying to build something up to be popular mm -hmm. or successful. I guess I don't want to say popular. Popular is an entirely different thing. Right. But that's the whole plan for next time. That was a plan for this time, but we're being cooked. Listen. Mars, can I say the numbers here, or is that only going on screen? I think you can say the numbers. All right. That's how so, we'll close it out. Every podcast, we're going to give some numbers out. Those of you who know what to do with these, go have fun. All right. The number is 311546. Mm -hmm. All right. And we'll leave you with that. Go have some fun, everyone. Good work. Thank you for joining us today on... NTR, No Taste Radio. No taste here. Goodbye. Goodbye.